Hi folks, how are we doing? Um, I've been asked if I could paint a wee picture of Tunbury Lighthouse. Um, they sent, I've been sent a couple of re re reference photographs. I can't put them on the screen. Um, they would normally be up here, if you can see my mouse, they would normally be up here. At the top, in this space here. I, I don't think you can see my mouse. Um, so I thought I would give it a go. I've mixed up some paints here, um, as you can see I've got phthalo blue, a kind of darker colour and then graduated with some mixing white in it. Um, here I've got Prussian blue with just a touch of light red and some white. Here I've got cadmium yellow, light cadmium yellow pale hue. Um, with a touch of Indian red and some white um, and here I've got Prussian blue, some Alizarin crimson and a touch of white which gives me the purple and on this here I've got some liquid and these are other colours that I've been using so right, let's see if we can do this to start off with I'm going to need liquid mixed in with this darker blue. What Liquin does is it, it kind of thins down the paint, makes it more watery, more fluid, easier to put on a canvas, um, but also um, helps the paint to dry um, a lot quicker. So basically, uh, I'll be a bit rough on my brush. I'm just going to start the underpainting with the phthalo blue, the kind of darker colour up here. And then as we come further down, is a, th a thicker paint. I'm stuck on my brush. Um, now this is basically just an underpainting, so don't worry about the brush marks, they will be removed by using a blending brush. Okay. Down. I want to get lighter so it's time to add the, the lighter. That's better. Take a lot of it must be coming off my palette. There you go, see? You'd always clean your palette before you start a new painting. I don't think this is actually light enough, so I'm going to add some. I've got some titanium white here. I'm going to add that. I mean, I, I do mix up the paint. I try my best to remember to mix up the paint I'm going to be using before I actually start the painting, but it actually ends up that I normally, or I will usually, um, end up mixing the paint actually on the palette, eh, on the, the canvas. Basically, I want it to get lighter as it comes further down. But, uh, Right, no, it's not light enough. I need it lighter than that. We'll add more titanium white. A bit more liquid. I think I'm going to have to try better to add 
pure white and mix it on the canvas. Just me and I get some more white out. I'm doing here, I'm picking up just pure um, titanium white on my brush and I'm mixing it with the wet paint that's already in the canvas um, so you've got wet paint mixed with liquid on the canvas um, this will basically allow me to um, paint over this in say an, like an hour or so this will be dry enough for me to paint over I okay, need a wee touch more lightness here, here. Don't forget um, the whole point of this this channel is so is that people like myself who are not really very experienced in painting can get together and we can try get together on the channel I'll go live or somebody else can go live we can get together on the channel we can discuss you know, how to do paintings correct way to mix and colours tunnels of things we can talk about together while we're we're all learning, I mean, I could always pick one of my photographs and send it to you all, we could all paint it at the same time, and the easiest way for that to happen is if you just um, subscribe, only if you want to, I mean, is to subscribe, and hit the bell icon, um, if the channel gets popular, I will start announcing when I'm going to actually be painting and we can get together and discuss all things art. Sorry, I was having a wee, wee um, cup of coffee there. Right, now up the top we've got, need to get more liquid. That's more, I need a touch more red, I think. Is that kind of? Ah, yeah, kind of that. Deep bluey purple. Not the top. So, come in. And it comes across like that, and then. Can I bring it back here? Oh, and please remember this is just like a, a block and like an underpainting. Um, and saying that, I have done underpaintings that I've thought have been actually pretty good and just left them. Um, I've also been told that I, I paint um, too much detail and I should try and paint a lot looser. Mm. 
I am trying. So, cut your light red in with that. Uh, Indian red. Sorry. And I just a wee touch of that in here. And here. Some more blue, Prussian blue. And up the top here, we'll try and make it a wee bit darker. Okay. Well, that's sitting like so. I'll get my smoothing brush, blending brush, sorry. And I will very gently. Smooth these clouds. Okay. Wipe on a kitchen roll. Need a clean back kitchen roll. Okay, now we need a smaller brush. You give me, excuse me a thing. Grab me a cup of coffee, an extra of coffee. Get some more darky blue, Prussian blue. Come back and adjust. Around. Maybe a better brush for this. Um, the graduate size 10 round. Um, pretty cheap brushes, but they do the job. Uh, it's better. So I'm doing it just very gently, just like small circles. Yeah. 
They gave me the kind of cloudy look. I'm hardly, hardly touching the canvas here. Um, and all I'm doing is spreading the paint about this radio on the canvas, mixing the colours together. Once the liquid um, starts to take hold, I will come in and I'll hit this with a blending brush just to smooth it out a wee bit. Okay, give that a wipe in the kitchen roll. Okay, now we need some of this colour. Alright. Oh, that's too bright. Quite in that. Yeah, well. Yeah. Then here. Now we'll add a bit of mauve colour down at the horizon. And as we get further down, we can add some more. Gets a wee bit lighter, so I'll add some of this blue that's already been mixed. Right, we need a touch of Ian's grey done with a blue to give us a kind of kind of blue grey colour. Oh, I couldn't. Uh, we'll come up here. We'll add some colour clouds in. Please excuse me, I, I speak to myself and I'm being, um, trying to kind of justify what I'm doing, kind of thing. I don't know if it's an artist thing or if any of the rest of you do it, but I do it often. Uh,
Okay, I'm gonna grab my blending brush again. I've got most of the paint off it. And I'm just gonna come in gently. Light and smooth. I do the kind of, you know, most more obvious brush mark. When I'm blending, I try and get as much in between. I try and get as much paint off the brush as I can. Um, and then I just, you know, just very gently. Trying to smooth out the paint, get rid of the brush marks. And then, when the liquid takes, I shall be able to come back in here and paint over it again. Um, but I do try and get as much as I can in there in the painting. I like to see basically what I'm painting. Oh. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't clean your brush. Okay, we'll let that take a wee bit more. Now we need to add, I need some more Prussian blue. This is going to be this. We started a wee bit of like we need to make it more fluid. Try and get a sharper edge on the horizon. Okay. This is just the undertone. Okay, I see it's pretty dark in the, the photograph that I've been given, but I will try and lighten it. In fact, I'm going to lighten it. You better have artistic license, I think. Okay, now I need some more white, so move that out the road. Okay, excuse me a second. Ok, 
you with the same brush that I used with the Prussian blue I'm going to come straight into the white that's my telephone ringing sorry I don't know the number, I am not answering it. And then I'm going to come in, I'm going to try and show waves. Again, these will be better defined. I finished painting, hopefully. Now the, the, the image that I've been showing or, or saying um, I'm using just as a reference it's obviously not going to be the same as that painting um, same as the photograph got some white in there and uh, put it all here Um, basically, what it's happening is it's a very, very um, stormy sea. There's a, quite a bit of turbulence in the water. So there's a lot of white water against a very dark um, sea. So I need to add some more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some black. Um, Paint grey and take Prussian blue. And I'm just going to add some swirls in here where I think they should go. Same brush, I haven't cleaned the brush. Using the same brush that I was using for the white and the blue. Kind of swirls down here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If your brush, um, if your if your canvas feels dry, obviously it is dry. But if it feels too dry and it's just lifting the paint straight off the brush, add a wee bit of liquid to your mix, paint mix, and it'll go on, as you can see, a lot smoother, a lot easier. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to put in the dark part, the kind of shadow parts, a bit more grey uh, of the, the sea. So it's basically Prussian blue mixed with some paints grey and then some more paints grey just to give it more defined and pick the liquid up, add it, paints grey, Prussian blue, it's a wee bit dark but that doesn't matter, that's the under painting.
And once I've got this done, I'll then add the rocks. Um, obviously, put them in quite dark to begin with. Okay, now we can grab some more white with some black one. Again, haven't cleaned the brush. As you can tell, it is quite a stormy day. There's a lot of white water rapids in it. A lot of swirling water. Oh, sorry, am I getting... I seem to be getting in front of the camera there. Sorry, didn't mean that. I don't know if you actually if the car if the mic picked it up, but my my neighbour was actually vacuuming there. Don't know if you've heard that. Hopefully, you can can I sort of see where I'm going with this. Um, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's speaking to me yet. Does anybody else who's painting speak to them when they're actually doing the painting? Um, you know, that feeling that you get that you're doing it correctly and it's going to work and, um, or, or, or totally the opposite, do you get the feeling that it's not going to work? Um, which is the kind of feeling I'm getting at the moment. Ah, I don't know, it looks kind of reasonably okay. All the time that I'm grabbing more paint, I'm grabbing more liquid and adding it to the mix. But what that's going to do is the liquid is going to allow me, maybe tomorrow or maybe even later on tonight, um, this will be near enough dry, ready to be painted over. I don't like it, so it's, that's too much. Hopefully you can see what I'm seeing. Let's get another brush. I need to put in the shadows for the rocks. So I'm going to use some lamp black, and I think I'll add some leather and crimson. Touch of light red. And liquid. 
too much oil in crimson, so we'll add some more greens, grey or black. Lamp black, that's better. Just they kind of give me a kind of dark shadow colour. I don't want black. And I'm just loosely. Adding in the shadows of some rocks. What comes can I come down kind of sharp there? Then we'll get this one. Need more liquid. On here, that one here. One right. Finish up what's on the side, and we will have some rocks here, I think. One. Okay, we'll leave that like that for a second. Pick up the blue brush again and come in. All these parts and touch them. Not allow us to add. Some white water round about these rocks. And as you can see, I'm actually pulling some of the rock colour down into the waves to make it look as if that the rocks go deeper down. Clean that brush. Okay, yeah, I think. I'm just looking at my computer for that looks like on the actual um, 
on my computer screen, you really can't even wonder if I lowered the light a bit. Does that help? No. Um, yeah, you can't really see it right. But basically, um, I think I'll add a brush. We'll get some more lamp black and we'll make this part darker. I think we'll come in and just put the shadows. For the rock for the lighthouse in. That yellow colour, what I've got, I can maybe if I can find the right brush. This one, get some thinner. Um, the thinner I'm using, by the way, is Zesta, it's excellent for. Done and paint down and cleaning your brushes. Um, the good thing about it is it doesn't stink like Torps does. Um, now I think that this part here. I can add some more weight to that, I think. Um, yeah, the zest that it doesn't smell. It's actually quite a pleasant um, smell. It smells like oranges. I would highly recommend that you buy it. It's a bit more expensive than turpentine. Um, but you can leave the jar open um, you, and you wouldn't know that you were actually painting with oil paints. It's really good stuff. I would highly recommend you get it. Give it a try if you want. Um, I mean, I can put a link to it. I've got a video that demonstrates. Just a wee quick video just to let you, know, let you see it working. Um, now the light's coming for that side. I'll put a link in the description. Of this, I need to wait till that dries. But I don't know if you can see it on the paint. Um, but it's here that I've missed. So what I'm doing is I'm going to get zest it on my brush, dab it off in the kitchen towel, and then I'm going to come in in the paint that's already there. I'm just going to smudge. Looks like maybe just grab some paint. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, that's the the underpainting button. I'll leave that for a couple of hours and then I'll come back to it. Now, the way I clean my brushes, I, I don't actually clean my brushes. What I do now with my brushes is I 
try and get as much paint, I take as much paint off them as I can on kitchen roll. And this was a wee track that I learnt on um, YouTube. Take as much as you can off, and then put them in a jar of baby oil. One, it keeps the paint wet and makes them easier. You can use the baby oil to clean your brush. But it also keeps the brush in good condition. When you, like if I come back in here today or maybe tomorrow and I want to do some more painting, I just wipe off the baby oil, give it a quick dip into um, the tarps or zester. And we're ready to go. Again, no smell of turps. If you use baby oil and zested, yes, that you get no smell of turps whatsoever. And you can quite happily just paint away. So, get my my blending brush and just give that a good. Don't shake it up, sorry. Just give that a good wipe. Quick dip into zest it, very small. Take off the reaccess and that's my blending brush ready to go. I so I could have used that same bucket to know how to clean. Now, I don't know if you can see that, um, multi-use wonder rights. Uh, I've discovered these, my brother-in-law um, introduced me to them. Antibacterial. So, after I've done it, and I'll clean, after I've done my paint, I'll clean my hands. Um, antibacterial formula. There you go, not a single piece of oil paint on my hands. And then grab the, the lid I use for my liquid. Give it a wipe. And then I'll use it to clean up any bits of paint that I don't want left on my palette. And there we go. So hopefully I'll come back to that. And we'll check it in about an hour, a couple of hours. And hopefully we'll be able to paint over it. So I like I maybe do it live or um maybe do it live tonight or I'll record it again and I'll upload it. Okay, anyway. Thanks for joining, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in part two. Bye-bye.